I'm Becky Hill from Thompson, Iowa. I have a daughter who was in a serious car accident when she was a sophomore in high school. And uh, we got the call and went to the hospital thinking she just had a broken leg. And as we got there, it was obviously a lot more uh, serious than that. We didn't get to see her, but um, as soon as we said who we were, the chaplains at the hospital took us to the little private room and kept us there for a few hours. And as we sat, um, it didn't look good. Um, and the doctors, when they finally came to talk to us a couple hours later, they said, you know, she's you know, very likely not gonna make it. Um, and they, uh, this was in Mason City, Iowa, and they flew her, they did life flight her um, around midnight to Minneapolis to a level one trauma center. And as we got there, again, we weren't allowed to see doctors. It's like, oh, that's who you are. Here's the chaplain. And so we spent a lot of time that night with the chaplains. Um, I say the prognosis was not good. They said that they, she had less than a 10% chance to live, but she did make it and um, was in intensive care for actually two months after her surgery wow. or after her accident and then several surgeries that she needed. Uh, she had a crushed pelvis and a lot of other, so she lost so much blood that they thought she was just gonna bleed to death, literally. And um, as she, came around, she was able to get through it. Um, she was in a wheelchair for a year. She was in the hospital for four months and then in a wheelchair for a year and finally started walking with crutches. And now, 10 years later, she's walking on her own. She's got a limp, she always will, but um, really, she's wow. been amazing. And I guess there was just so many things during that time that um, touched us and, and strengthened our faith. Yeah. Um, the one thing was that night of her accident, of course, we live in a small town, and by, that was a Saturday night, and by Sunday morning, everybody knew. Mm -hmm. And by Sunday morning, um, obviously, our church was praying for her. I had mm -hmm. a nephew in Mexico City doing missionary work. His church prayed for her. Mm -hmm. um, one in New York City, my nieces, their church prayed for her. I have a brother in Indiana, they were praying for her. And we learned later of many people that were just acquaintances with um, mm -hmm. all over the Midwest and, and all over the United States and world literally were praying for her. And so it just, you know, it just was so overwhelming and mm -hmm. um, the odds were so stacked against her. Absolutely. And um, some of the other thing, you know, we also, I uh, teach at Waldorf College. Oh yeah. And so again, the whole Waldorf College community was yeah. so supportive and praying for her. Um, KGLY prayer line, which is, uh, you know, um, another area they were praying for her. And, and actually since that time, uh, the last 10 years, my husband and I, we volunteered two nights away answering prayer line calls yeah. throughout the night uh, because uh -huh. we just so much appreciated what that did for her. And I think, you know, the only thing we brought her through was all those prayers. Mm -hmm. um, I think something else I thought was so interesting when, like after about 11 days, she finally came to enough to be able to talk to us. The one thing she, she said to us, she said, Mom, Dad, it was, when she finally awoke, it was just like, I just came home from Bible camp. Because um, as she was, you know, she said uh, at the accident, she remembered exactly what happened. She was thrown from a pickup and it landed on top of her. And um, she said she remembers being there so still and quiet. It was out in the middle of the country. She was laying around the truck and um, she said it was just so still and peaceful and quiet and she was not afraid. Um, mm -hmm. She could hear the music playing on the radio and saw all the stars above her and God was there with her. Absolutely. And again, when she woke up, it was like, Mom, I just, I feel like I was at Bible camp because she was just so spiritually filled after that time. Mm -hmm. And God had been just there mm -hmm. with her the whole time. And there was even things that she almost felt like, you know, there were angels around her bed at mm -hmm. times. Um, and again, you know, who knows where that mm -hmm. all comes from, but mm -hmm. um, just such, you know, and, and, and afterwards, uh, she and, and she and I together, we spoke at many churches and yeah. other kind of youth, you know, because her faith was so enriched and like I say, and we had just so much support yeah. from congregations and everyone else. Well, that's, that whole that's a very powerful faith story. And mm. thank you so much for sharing it. That's exactly what we're looking for. So okay. perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much for <laughs> You're sharing. Welcome.